I'm going to show you how to flash your flat mod for Wii. It's pretty simple, so let's get to it. Here is the flat mod. I got this off eBay, uh, 15 bucks or so. It did not come with a extra ribbon cable, so I had to take a ribbon cable from one of my other Wii's. And what you have to do if you're going to use this method, and I'm not sure why this is, but there is a black line on each one of these cables, one of the tips, and the other side of that cable there is not. Now the black line, you don't want that on the Wii itself. You have to have just the straight up blue on the Wii. Then the black line, I guess the black line, think of it as an arrow, um, goes to the device. So black line there. And the same with this one mirrored is you have just straight up blue here and then the black line will go into the drive. Now I'm not going to cover which drives work and which don't. Some of them simply don't read burn disks. They don't read backups. They do not read any sort of, uh, well, any sort of burn disk or any sort of software, uh, third party, um, homebrew, uh, service disks, nothing. Some of them don't. So I'm not going to tell you which ones do and do not because there, there's a huge list but I will provide a link in the description as to what does and what doesn't. There's a site you can go to and you put in your serial number and it'll tell you if it does or not. Also uh, I've got the software for the flat mod config disk which took me so long to get. It, it'll do a lot of hunting around online so um, I, it, as long as it'll fit I'm going to pop it up on GitHub and you guys can grab it from there. I'll also put a link to that. So what you do is you hook that up like I've described. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. There are dip switches. There's configuration on this thing. There is two switches. There's one that says on and one that says KE. The on you want down and the KE you want up. There's four possible configurations. I've tried all of them. This is the only one that'll work. If you have it different than this, uh, the drive will simply say that it's not reading anything. It'll say that there's a disk error no matter what you put in because it just won't communicate properly. That along with having the the blue or the black line on uh, pointing, I guess you'd say, pointing to where it's going. That's how I like to think of it as an arrow. So once you've got the dip switch set correctly and you hook this up, It'll be kind of gentle. It's kind of fragile. Uh, let's boot it on. Let's turn this thing on. And there's a blue LED that lights up here. Now I've burned two different discs, uh, the config discs for the flat mod. Uh, I used one of them. I used Alcohol 120, and the other one I used Image Burn. Uh, both of them work. So either method will work with this. It doesn't really matter whichever you prefer. Make sure you're at the home screen. I think that really matters too much. But you put the disc in. And again, only discs or drives that will read uh, burn discs will do this. And again, I'll put in a link to the description, or a link in the description, to where you can find out if yours will or not. And you simply go up here, top left, and it does read as a GameCube disc. You go start. And there's your config menu. And this thing will go dead. It goes null. It doesn't do anything after this. You actually have to use the reset button to select. So you've got your power button to the far left, reset to the right, and your eject is on the far right. So what you do, it's on region force on the top, and that's on. If you do one short press, well, this isn't working, I do not know. I'm gonna unplug this and give it another shot. Now with the system off, let's try this a different way. Let's go ahead and put the disc in. Start that. 
Let's see if we can get it going this time. All right. I'm not sure why it's not working. Pressing reset, it's not doing anything. Let's actually try the other disc. Although I said it worked with both, because I did test both. Maybe get one of my pins off. The drive itself on the ribbon cable. Or maybe it just does not want to work because I'm recording it. No idea why this is not working. Maybe it's already configured. Anyway, I went through this a couple times earlier. It's recording, so maybe that's why it doesn't want to work. Anyway, so I'll just describe it to you because I got it to work, obviously. I That's power, that's reset, and here's eject. You short press uh, reset, and it will actually scroll down. If you long press, it will select back and forth. So it the default is region force on, update blocker on, multi-ISO on, auto boot off. So you just tap through those and it'll go down to save config. And once it gets down to save configuration, you just do long press on the reset button and it will give you a smiley face and say reboot your Wii. Now to prove that this did work and that it did in fact flash the flat mod chip, I will boot my disc for the GameCube that is a service disc. GameCube service disc. And this tests various functions of the GameCube system. I've not actually tried it in here, but I want to show that it does boot up. And this is, of course, after the flat mod is flashed. Shows up as GameCube because that's what it is. Start. And I... Crap. Maybe it's because it's a Surface Disk. Let's try something else. Let's try the Game Boy Player. Sorry for stringing you guys along like this. I'm just really interested to see why this is not working. Now I burned this because I have a Game Boy Player in my GameCube, which you can see over there on the bottom, and I never actually had the disc for it. And there's an alternate version, not of the Game Boy Player, but of an app somebody developed, which is actually pretty good, that does pretty much the same thing, but there's all sorts of scaling options and all sorts of stuff. I might do a video on that in the future. Well, this showed up. Now, although there is no Game Boy Player for the Wii, let's see if this disc will work. There we go. That is proof that it does work. So I think something is wrong with my burn of the GameCube service disc. Let's try uh, the GCOS SD loader. See if that wants to fire up. I'm really hungry. I could go for some pizza. My wife's making it downstairs. I can smell it. it. Smells delicious. And I'm up here making a video with a hungry stomach. So if this works, then that's going to show that. GameCube service disc was built specifically for Game Boy. Yep, there we go, SD load. So, okay, yeah, it's not a bad burn, I guess, of my service disc. It just does not work on the Wii. Maybe it doesn't recognize the right hardware and simply won't fire up. So that is proof that what I was going through earlier explaining, it does actually work. Maybe my flat mod doesn't want to flash because it's already been flashed. Well, it's got the update blocker on. I'm not sure if that is update for the system itself or if it won't update on the flat mod itself. There is on the flat mod there is a little ribbon cable that goes here that I don't have, it didn't ship with it that is labeled update and where you can find those files if somebody knows please let me know and I'll put it in the description because I could not find that so there you go, that's proof that it does work although I couldn't really show you 
the run through finally on the on, on the on the on final end but like I said pop the disc in go up to load it up in the top left and then the reset you press short presses will select long presses or short presses will run through long presses switch select back off and on back and forth get to the bottom save config push and hold and it will save to the flat mod device and then tells you to reboot and you can't really reboot because the buttons all go dead after that. You have to actually unplug it and reboot it that way. But that's proof that this does actually work. We got SD load via GameCube burned game. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you. If I am not able to upload the file like I want to GitHub, then I will try to find it again and provide a link. I had to go through some, well, I think it was some French forum to get how to do it, and then, and the dip switches were wrong on that, and then some Spanish site to find the link on Mediafire from years ago, which surprisingly was still up um, for the file itself. So I'll upload those. Um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to see more of my ramblings, and press thumbs down if I suck. Oh shit, Fred, turn the camera off. <laughs>